Um, well, uh, at the beginning of the season, of course, you need to build up your physique again because uh, we haven't been playing for one year because of uh, the pandemic, Corona. So uh, you have to be very smart. Like you cannot like go full on on trainings. You need to build up. And um, I'm in contact with my uh, physiotherapist in, in Holland who guides me uh, through the preseason that we had before. And uh, of course, sometimes you still feel some pain in your body, which is normal. And uh, the most important thing is to take uh, good care of your body. But uh, now we already played like six games and uh, so far I feel very good, I feel fit and uh, I feel happy. So that's also really important. Oh, it takes a lot of effort. Um, like usually I'm in good contact with the uh, medical staff of my club. So every time when you feel something, um, I, uh, I'm in contact with them and then they advise me what I should do. But uh, most of the time I do a lot of uh, isometric exercises. Uh, which really helps me to stay fit and uh, to reduce the pain in my body and to prevent injuries, which is most important as well. Yeah, it's very interesting uh, because this is my, my first experience in this kind of format. Huh? Um, it's not easy because uh, like two or three weeks in a bubble with the team also uh, gives a lot of stress. You don't really have a social life and I think it's important uh, also for pro athletes to uh, take some rest sometimes and uh, to focus on other things than only on football. Uh, but the most important thing is, is that we can play football and that uh, the league uh, runs uh, smoothly. So uh, there's no other option um, and as a pro athlete we just have to find a way to uh, adapt to the situation and uh, that's what we uh, are trying to do or especially that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, so you adapt now with the new team? Yeah, of course. Uh, this is a new team. Uh, I've been with Persita already since last year, but then uh, Corona huh, uh, welcomed us. <laughs> yeah. So then we had to stop the league and this is the first time that uh, then with Persita and we really start uh, playing the, the league in Indonesia. So that also takes a lot of uh, adaptation, but usually I add up uh, really, really fast and quick to a new team. Uh, first of all, as a senior player, I always try to be a good example for the, for the youngsters. Uh, I, uh, I've been on that uh, age myself and uh, I know how important it is to get support and help from, uh, from the senior players. But indeed, in uh, professional football, uh, Every day you have to prove yourself, doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter what you have achieved. So uh, most important for me is now like um, to, to stay fit and uh, to get even fitter uh, because um, yeah, it wasn't easy to come back from one year not playing uh, football. And um, I'm, I'm very confident in my quality, so I try to focus on, uh, on myself and what I can do and uh, try to be um, very helpful uh, for my team. Yeah, well, my best position is definitely attacking midfielder. I've been playing uh, as a midfielder since I was young. Uh, my first time, indeed, when I was playing for the national team, the coach asked me if I uh, was willing to play uh, as a right back because that time, yeah, they had some problems. And uh, of course, I was very proud to play for the national team. And um, I said, no problem, wherever you need me, I will be ready to fight for Indonesia. Uh, but of course, yeah, they all saw my qualities. Uh, we're on the midfield, so um, that's why I changed to the midfield position. Even though like most of the time when I was playing my games for the national team, I played as a holding midfielder, um, which I can also play. Uh, but my favorite position is like uh, more as an attacking uh, midfielder. Of course, I've been thinking about it, but uh, on the other hand, like uh, this is uh, such a beautiful thing to do. So uh, my plan is actually as long as I'm able to play and as long as I'm uh, fit and um, if I'm still happy to play football, then I just try to play as long as possible. But uh, yeah, you cannot predict um, in football. I just try to stay healthy and fit and uh, give my best performance and uh, then I will see you later. But of course, uh, I will be very grateful if I can still play a few more years. Yeah. 
I don't think there's any reason because uh, the beginning when I started to play in uh, Indonesia there were not so many uh, Dutch football players as now. I think it's just a coincidence. Uh, of course we have uh, some Dutch coaches before and uh, probably they work huh, with Dutch agents. So uh, that might be a reason why they bring in Dutch players uh, into the Indonesian league and a few players they also perform really well. So uh, that might be a reason. Uh, but I don't think there's a particular reason uh, for Dutch players to play in the Indonesian league because as I know, yeah, we also have like a lot of players who are playing in Japan or Thailand, Malaysia. Um, yeah, to get back on naturalized players uh, with Indonesian backgrounds. Um, I think um, there's a reason for that because of the history between uh, Indonesia and Holland. Uh, we had a lot of Indonesian people who uh, yeah, uh, went to Holland uh, many years ago and we have a lot of Dutch people with Indonesian backgrounds living in Holland. Well, in my opinion, yeah, indeed, it's very difficult because uh, the problem in Indonesia is like there's not, uh, not a good youth uh, system in Indonesia and like Basically, they miss from an age from five, five or six till 12 years. They miss a lot of education, which we have in, in Europe. Um, I think the biggest challenge for him is, is to catch up with, with his, uh, in his age category and um, also to adapt to a totally different culture because the mentality is so different if you compare that with Indonesia or in Asia itself. Um, I know that Dareya Kalesic is his coach, which can, might be uh, an advantage for him. I work with Dareya in uh, PSM Makassar, so he already understands about the Indonesian culture as well. So hopefully he can help him. But um, yeah, my advice to him is, is try to enjoy as much as possible. And he got to work really, really hard because um, the quality in, in Europe and also in Holland is, is really high. Well, actually, I found out on a, on a um, later age, because when I was playing in Holland, in the youth academy, I played for Feyenoord Rotterdam, which has probably one of the best uh, youth academies in the world. And I always play on the top level. I also played for the Dutch national teams on the 15, on the 16, on the 17. Um, but I think my problem at that time that I didn't really realize of what I have, because you work with the best people, you can work, uh, in very good conditions, you have the best facilities. So I was not really aware for it. And mentally, probably I was also not strong enough, which I uh, yeah, found out later um, when I started to play in China, in Asia. So actually, um, I made a strength out of my weakness. Like I became mentally very strong. And um, actually I was really good in adapting uh, in different cultures. Uh, as in China, now in Indonesia. So I try to focus on that, try to balance everything and give my, my, my best performance. Well, there are always coaches that uh, suit you and some coaches that you probably don't really have a good uh, relation with. I think the most important tool for a coach is, is to, to create a good vibe into a team. Um, like if you ask me to name a particular coach who helped me uh, of feeling comfortable in a team is uh, probably Stefan Hansson, a uh, coach from Sweden. And um, I also worked really well with uh, coach Milo uh, during my time in Arema because um, yeah, he's very disciplined. I'm also a very disciplined guy. Um, I don't really like to talk um, as a pro athlete. That's my culture that how I grew up in Holland. Uh, usually as a professional football player, you talk with your feet on the pitch, right? That's how you get yourself into a team. That's how you gain respect from your teammates and from the opponent. So um, yeah, I work with many good coaches, um, like even though with coaches I've worked before, but the relationship was not really good. Also from them, I learned something. So I always try to um, take the positive side out of a working relationship.
Uh, well, I said like <laughs> when I talk with the management, uh, first of all, like I think most important is to create a good team, to get a good atmosphere in the team, and um, which is important as well to enjoy. Uh, and um, the target is to um, get into the top 10. So that's our target for this season and everything uh, we achieve more is extra. So uh, that's the team target. My personal target is to stay fit, to get back on my best performance and um, yeah, to play more years after this year.